Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. I'm back with another episode. I've come across a really excellent website and it kind of details all the projects that The Boring Company are about thinking about doing, what they're currently doing and what's generally in the pipeline. And I've actually been busy myself producing a similar kind of document. The one they actually found on this website is actually a lot better than what I've done. So I thought today we'd do a bit of a, a quarterly report, basically looking at what the Boeing company's been doing, what progress has been made, what projects are actually on the books, what is basically likely to happen and what is basically uh, vaporware. Essentially, some of these projects are vaporware. Essentially, they're ideas in people's heads that will never, ever occur. But quite a few of them are definitely projects that will probably go through the planning process, hopefully get approved. So, first of all, let's have a look at this website. It's elonx.net, and they have this section on the Boeing Company projects. It's recently been updated. I think this is bloody brilliant. I'm trying to get the guy who made this to come on my Discord channel. Uh, obviously, he follows the project, so he would be very useful to me. Um, basically, just gives a, a nice outline to all the projects that are currently being uh, uh, looked at by the Boeing Company. So here we've got the Hawthorne Test Tunnel. Uh, for some reason, he's done it in kilometres, which is absolutely fine for me. For you guys, you know, it doesn't mean squat to you. Uh, if I was, there's 1,600 kilometers in a mile, if you want to uh, note that down and work it out from there. Las Vegas Convention Center, Dugout Loop, East Coast Loop, Chicago Express Loop. All the projects that I'm going to discuss over the next five minutes or so are going to be here as well. They also got this kind of section for potential projects. Some of them I'm not entirely sure about. Um, I'm not sure about this CERN Collider because it's kind of, it's, it's, it's not even really been, it, no one's really come out from that organisation and says we're definitely going to build it and we're definitely going to need uh, a Boeing machine and we're definitely going to use the Boeing company. So it, for me, that is, is at the moment a pipe dream and we probably won't hear anything for another two years about that because that project is multi-billion dollars and essentially they've not they've not got the budget to do that. They get a lot of their money from the European Union and, and obviously their budget's going to be cut quite reasonably soon. Um, this one as well with New York, that is actually the first time I, I've heard about that one. I think it was just basically they had some talks, which doesn't really equate to me of a potential project. Anyway... Let's have a look what I've been doing. So, this is our quarterly report. I think that we're going to do this every quarter. Um, so it's every three months. We're going to have a look uh, what has changed. If anything has changed, that's the important thing. What I'm going to improve on this. It might get moved to an Excel document at some point because I, I, I want to detail... Um, the number of miles that are being proposed for a project in, in, in terms of we can have a sum of all the miles that are going to be need to be bored by tunnel boring machines. I want also uh, the value. Um, I want to break it down into actual the, the cost of boring the tunnel, the cost of boring uh, also building the stations. If you've not, obviously some of you guys are based in the USA. In the UK, we're building a big project called Crossrail. And that is now two years behind schedule because the stations are taking absolutely ages to build, incredibly complex. Um, and obviously that's another advantage of the Boeing company is that we have these very kind of simplistic uh, stations which we can drop in via elevators. Again, another massive advantage by the Boeing company. And it's really important to recognise Building stations underground is incredibly expensive, incredibly difficult, and incredibly time-consuming. So, let's go through this nice and quick. Uh, projects currently under consideration. It's kind of like we're thinking about it, but we've not put it into um, planning approval yet. Um, we've got two projects. 
and the total value of those two projects is 1.12 billion dollars um, we've got cancel projects zero here on if we go back to this they have this experimental tunnel in the west side there wasn't very much said about this. It was kind of in... The Boeing Company were kind of doing it, but in the background, not really announcing anything. To, so to kind of say this project was started and then cancelled or planning approval was sought and then cancelled, I, I just... I, I think it's a bit... I think it's a bit harsh to say that's a cancelled project. I think that was just an idea that was determined. It wasn't really worth pursuing because they had so many other things on. Obviously, there will be a west side tunnel under LA at some point, but it, it, it's just not important at the moment for the Boeing company. Um, in terms of projects subject to planning approval, we have three projects that's totaling $587 million. Um, the majority of that $587 million is this here, is uh, the Chicago Express Loop. Uh, and obviously we've got one complete project, which is, is the Hawthorne Test Tunnel. Let's just quickly go through these projects. So, as you know, we're still thinking about the Chicago Express Loop. That it is kind of in the air. Uh, they have just appointed a new mayor. I believe they start in the next two to four months, something like that. So, at some point, I will look at that again. It's... It's kind of a 50-50 on that one, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure if they're going to start it this year, maybe next year, maybe at the end of this year if we're lucky. Uh, the planning approval has been sought. It's a dual tunnel, so there are two tunnels uh, in parallel that are 17.1 miles, around about that kind of uh, distance. Uh, we've got two stations. Um, I've got here, the cost of actually the doing the tunnels is $410 million. I've put in there $80 million for stations because I think that at the airport they may just use a ramp. I think the main cost will be under block 37. Again, this is total guesswork. I'm unsure how they're going to do it because I've not seen any plans. Um, I don't know if they're going to have uh, micro stations halfway along the route. It's possible there may just be two stations. So I think $80 million is a good starting point for that. It may be slightly more. It might it may be a lot, lot less. Uh, we have our Israel project. It, it's just, I don't know very much about this. And I've not even included it because you just don't know if it's going to happen. It's conceptual. I think it will be a big, long tunnel, but we'll have to find out. We have our Las Vegas, Nevada project. Again, this is under planning approval. We recently heard some news that... Um, it has been approved and that they're looking for the actual uh, local authorities to approve the actual project. Once that's done, they, they will start immediately, which will hopefully be in the next six to nine months. I've got it as a dual tunnel. It's, there's a lot of different routes on this one, but I've just put the middle one, so 1.5 miles. Um, we've got $36 million, plus I've put in $8 million for... Um, micro uh, stations or elevators. I don't think there's going to be a lot of um, elevators on this particular project. That's my thinking. However, thinking about it now, maybe it could be, uh, maybe it could be double that if the they, they actually add a, a lot of stations and then they have a lot of elevators. So again, I don't know how many elevators they're going to put in for it. I'm just, I'm just thinking around 10 elevators, something along the region of 10 elevators at most. Uh, San Jose, California, again, under consideration. It's being considered at the moment. I think that is a great little project. Hopefully, that will go through for planning approval. Uh, dual tunnel, 2.5 miles. That's linking the actual train station and the airport at San Jose, right in the middle of downtown. Um, we've got $60 million for the actual tunnel itself and then actually putting the station underneath or alongside the train station and maybe have a ramp in 
the car park of the airport. I've got $30 million. Uh, dugout Loop, Los Angeles. I'm very excited about this particular project. I think this one is definitely going to get approved. It's only a matter of time. Again, hopefully in the next six to nine months. It's good because it's right next to um, where we've built the test tunnel. It's, it's not a million miles away, so we can just uh, take the existing team from that, hopefully, and continue. Uh, it is, it, it could be a bit more than 3.6 miles. It could be a bit less than 3.6 miles. It depends on the route they choose because they're linking it up to three metro stations. I'm unsure which station they're gonna choose. I've gone for the one in the middle because that just makes sense to me. And it seems like the straightest route, uh, 3.6 miles. It is a single tunnel. It's not a dual tunnel. It is a single tunnel, 14 foot diameter tunnel. So um, it will be linking the ballpark there, Dodger Stadium. That, it'll cost, I've got here 43 million. I think that's about right. Uh, and then I put in 10 million for uh, a station because they're gonna need to have a station right next to the metro station, which will probably be an underground one with escalators. That's what I'm thinking based on the drawings that I've seen. Uh, again, at the actual baseball stadium, they'll probably have a ramp. Um, so I think I think 10 million there is, is probably more than what is required. Uh, we have our Sydney uh, Blue Mountain Crossing. Very, very conceptual. This is just someone asking a question. Uh, all my uh, numbers or prices that I've got are from this Blue Mountain Crossing estimate, the one that Elon Musk put out on Twitter, which was for $15 million for a dual tunnel that is one mile long. So basically, I've just worked out that that's going to be $7.5 million for one kilometer of single lane tunnel and then I worked that out per uh, scheme estimated cost of this I've got 850 million it's the geology could be an absolute um, rat's nest of problems really could be a rat's nest so I, I, I think it could be a lot more than that potentially but I don't think this will ever start I hope it will don't get me wrong, I know I keep saying this, I hope it will start, but I don't think it will because I think it's just an idea. And it doesn't seem to link to anywhere. It's just linking to somewhere across the mountains where there are not many people. We've got our Baltimore, Washington, DC, potential hyperloop. I'm not sure if that has been downgraded to a loop now, but there has been some rumblings around this particular project. Is it going to get, is it, I believe it's got some kind of environmental approval now. And they're determining whether they need to now put it in for um, full planning approval uh, or whether it needs to go through an environmental assessment. It, it probably will need to because just because of the size and scope of this scheme. Um, it's underground, so it's not really going to affect anything on the surface, but you, you know, you never know. There could be a lot of moles in the area. <laughs> it's unlikely. It's not going to cause any environmental problems. That's basically it. They're just going through procedure, paperwork, uh, red tape. That's 37 miles. It is a dual bore tunnel. So you've got two tunnels. Both of them are 37 miles long. I've got $890 million just to build those two tunnels. And I've put $140 million in for stations because with it potentially being a hyperloop, it could be a lot, lot more in it than your typical loop project. Again, these are all subject to change, guys. It will, as I do this every quarter, I will change things if I think they're unreasonable. If you think that is too much or that is too little, you know, write in the comments below. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll consider it. Probably is. Maybe it is a bit low. Uh, the one complete project that we've got on the books is this one in Hawthorne, California. It is 1.14 miles long. We've got a single 14 foot diameter uh, tunnel. We've got two shafts, one at either end, one for the launch pit for the um, TBM and one the reception pit for the TBM. And then we have our um, elevator uh, pit that goes underneath that house, as you remember in previous episodes. So overall, we've got a lot going on here. We have a lot going on here. 
a lot of stuff going on in the background in terms of getting planning and approval. Um, a lot of critics are coming out and saying the Boeing company is not doing anything. They're just announcing projects and then nothing happens. Well, unfortunately, planning approval takes a long, long time. Uh, they, they've got to ensure that things are not done stupidly. Otherwise, you know, we, we have major incidents where roads and bridges are collapsing and we can't have that. So th there is a reason for this kind of procedures to ensure things are built correctly. However, in this instance, with it being a tunnel, with it being first of a kind, that there's no kind of blueprint for how you look at these projects and how you determine whether they are viable, viable or they're safe to build uh, or they're cost effective. And at the moment, we're just not hearing anything. Hopefully, um, in terms of projects which I think we'll hear from first, I think we'll hear from the dugout loop pretty soon. Maybe slightly before that, we might hear about the Las Vegas project. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, before Christmas, we'll hear about Chicago. At that point, we might have three projects. We might have three projects that we can build. Worst, ca worst case scenario, I think, is the Chicago project gets turned down. In which case, we do the Las Vegas project and we do the dugout loop, which is still um, plenty of plenty of experience there. There's money to be made. Uh, I'd hope at that point, once we prove that that technology works, we could then maybe get planning completed for the San Jose project, at, at which point we've, we've done essentially four projects uh, successfully, proved the technology, we've, we've built the AEVs, we've built Mark 1 AEV, then we can do Mark 2 AEV, Mark 3, and we've got a system that we know that works, we've got a system that we know is safe, We've got projects that we've built using uh, LineStorm. Then hopefully we can bring in Proof Rock at the beginning of 2022. Then we're really sort of kicking ass. You know, we can get the cost of boring a tunnel below $5 million a mile. Once we've done that with Proof Rock, who knows what we can do? Maybe $4 million a mile. I'm going to leave it on that, guys. Think about that. So that's our first quarterly review. I'm going to be doing these every quarter. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. If you uh, if you would like to do so, come and join me on Discord. In the link below, I'll put a link to my Discord channel. I'm looking for new people to join. It'd be really awesome if you come and join me and tell me what you think about the Boeing Company and about AVs, about the uh, Hawthorne test tunnel about all the things that um, you find interesting about the Boeing company. Once you've done that, you, you know, you can get involved in this uh, community. Thank you guys. And don't remember, and remember, don't be boring. I'll see you soon. Thank you all. Goodbye.